Okay. Good evening, fellas. It's your Kamesh here. I would like to welcome you to the first installment of Love Hate by K Fabs 8. Uh, special thanks to Jordan Van Eggman for constructing the name of my series. Uh, I've got a couple of sponsors for today's vid. Start off with uh, our first sponsor, Bacardi. And our platinum sponsor of the evening, uh, Ryan Andre's Clothing for Men. Got the newest plaid shirt uh, from his line. So thank you, Ryan. Uh, I'm, re I'm really enjoying uh, watching all these videos. Uh, I've got a comment uh, for each of them. So uh, we'll start off with the first one, uh, Shane's. Uh, I was okay with my power ranking your first uh, episode, Shane. Uh, but if I'm not at least uh, if, I, if I'm not at least a seven this week, we might have to find a new deputy commish, because I'm coming in real hot after a tough win against Joe. <laughs> and uh, Matt, your prediction of Joe RKOing my team last week was treasonous. Uh, there was clearly a mix-up in your prediction, as it was your former boy Jeremy Hill who RKO'd. The Saints defense with 27 carries and 152 yards. Um, comment for Joe, I like your new strategy of getting Cheryl on your ass like elementary school track. Uh, that reminded me of the time I used your track shoes against Hauber and ate shit near the end of the race. Uh, so just, just be careful with that. And uh, Peach, thank you for the advice on Gresham. I've added him to the squad, and hopefully Andy Dalton can maintain the trend of throwing in touchdowns instead of playing like a fucking peewee. Uh, so we'll start off here with the quarterbacks I hate. Uh, <coughs> Wadi10, I hate your QB this week. Uh, I hope you have enough room on your bench for Peyton Manning and his forehead because he's up against a stingy Miami defense. That has not allowed 300 passing yards once this season. Uh, much of that success should be credited to Peach's boy, uh, Cameron Wake, who is a two-time CFL Most Outstanding Defensive Player of the Year. He's having a hell of a season. Um, Sean Mason, I also hate your QB this week. Your boy Russell Wilson is having an average season compared to his dominance of last year. And we'll be up against a tight-fisted Arizona Cardinals defense. Uh, the Seahawks are limited at wide receiver with Doug Baldwin as their number one. Uh, ask any guy in the league but Matty, and they'd say he's a slot receiver on any other team. Uh, but yeah, look for Patrick Peterson to shut him down. And uh, the rest of the, the Hawks receivers as well. Uh, Peach. I hate your QB this week, even though he's one of my favorites to watch in prime time, uh, Tony Romo. Uh, he'll be playing the 8:30 game on Sunday night uh, versus the Giants, so I'm I'm really pumped to see Romo just throw a bunch of interceptions and and fuck shit up as usual on prime time. Uh, so I hate him this week. Uh, we'll go with QBs I love this week now. Uh, Husky, I love your Amish freak of a QB this week. Um, Andrew Luck, he's playing the Jaguars. Uh, enough said there, that's an easy matchup. Um, Danny McHugh, I love your QBs this week. Uh, Aaron Rodgers is a lock as usual, but I also love Joe Flacco. Uh, it's a must win for him and the Ravens to stay in the hunt for the AFC North Division title. And Flacco performs well under pressure and is also... Uh, Oh, and also, he's uh, playing the defense that was up against my favorite QB, Andy Primetime Dalton. Uh, he was able to light up the Saints defense for 22 points last week. Who day, Matthew? Uh, so there you go. Um, Joe? Oh, well, we're moving into running backs now, so we'll just take a break. <laughs> Uh, for running backs, Joe, I love your running back, LaShawn McCoy, this week. 
I think this is finally the week Shady breaks free. Uh, the Titans got to uh, torched by Mary Jane Addict Le'Veon Bell last week. Uh, so if Shady can find a way to mix in some, some Silver Smith during the week, uh, then uh, this will be his week he shines. Um, Sean Mason, I can already hear you bitching to me that uh, Russell Wilson uh, that Russell Wilson shouldn't be hated this week. Uh, so just to shut you up, I'm just gonna say that I love Demarco Murray this week against the Giants. Yep. Uh, Shane, I love Eddie Lacy this week. The Packers are on a roll and will continue to roll over the Minnesota Vikings. Uh, look for Lacy to get plenty of garbage time points in this one. And Peach, I love your boy, Denard Robinson. Uh, his Jaguars are shit, but he's going to be well-rested coming off a of bye week. And uh, your Colts and Rise Colts, uh, they gave up 244 yards rushing and a uh, fuck ton of touchdowns to Jonas Gray last week. Uh, so it makes for a great matchup for Denard Robinson. I love him this week. Mm, moving on to the running backs I hate. Ryan. I hate Mark Ingram this week. Uh, Mr. Heisman will be up against the Ravens, who have allowed only one touchdown in their last games. Or in the la only allowed one touchdown in their last seven games. So I, I hate him this week. And Waddy. I hate Frank Gore this week. Uh, don't know how that old fart is still running the football. Um, look for rookie Carlos Hyde to finally break free this week. And Peach. I hate Jerkin McO McOnion. Uh, no. Jerkin McKinnon, <laughs> however the fuck you pronounce his name. Uh, I'm, sure, I'm sure you're aware Ben Tate uh, got scooped up by the Vikings on waivers, uh, giving the Vikings a threesome backfield, uh, including Matt Asiata. Uh, so McKinnon will uh, have limited carries against the Packers. So I hate him this week, Peach. Uh, moving on to wide receivers. Uh, wide receivers I hate. Sean, I hate DeAndre Hopkins. Uh, DeAndre has been really effective for you uh, since our beauty of a trade early in the year. Uh, he has only one touchdown since I traded him to you. And he's projected for 13.3 points. Uh, but he's playing my boys in Cincy who shut down uh, the infamous Brandon Cooks last week. Uh, another wide receiver I hate, Ryan, going right back at you. I hate Steve Smith this week. Uh, he has a combined 88 yards receiving in his last three games. And you're inching closer to the mini cock. Uh, as much as I would love to see you start him and inch closer to the mini cock, I'm uh, going to be a university bro and suggest you keep him on your bench. Uh, the last player I hate this week. Um, is actually a, a player that's had a lot of hype this uh, this year. Um, it's uh, yeah, it's wide receiver from the Cleveland Browns, Josh Gordon. So Maddie's been hyping him up big time this uh, uh, this whole year, but I hate Josh Gordon this week. Uh, he actually went on to uh, tell his former uh, teammate, Canadian Nate Burleson, back in training camp that he had big plans for this comeback. Uh, Apparently he's lost 10 to 15 pounds, so I don't know what kind of kush that guy's smoking, but he's losing 10, 15 pounds, and he's going to tear up this league, uh, as Burleson's uh, uh, telling NFL.com. But uh, I think uh, Gordon's going to be eased into the lineup this week, and uh, Peach's proclaimed pickup, Andrew Hawkins, is going to get the bulk of the carries uh, in Cleveland this week. Uh, so yeah, that's a wrap for uh, the first episode of Love Hate by... Kfabs8. Uh, I just want to call out uh, the other guys that haven't made a video yet. Uh, in particular, uh, Ryan Andres uh, being shady as usual. I mean, I don't know what you're up to these days. I know you got school and all that, but I mean, only takes about 5-10 minutes to make a video. So if you could stop being shady and make one, that'd be nice. Uh, I'm going to call out Wilmsy and uh, Danny McHugh. I uh, would love to see you guys make a vid as well. And uh, Wadi10, I mean... Where have you been, man? Like, like, fans, I don't know. I think you should make a video soon, but yeah, that's, that's about it for tonight. All right.